Hey, welcome back. Um, okay, in our last screencast, we created a menu, a navigational menu. What I want to do now is I want to just um, add new links. I want to cover uh, something that I'd suggested earlier. Um, we currently have created tabs or links to internal pages within our website. What if we wanted to have a tab that linked to an external site? You could definitely do that. And it's actually almost the identical process. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Link. Okay, and once again, this is the exact same. Look, we're, we're, this isn't any different. Um, menu link title. Well, where do we want to link to? Um, let's say we want to link to Harris Institute, okay, the school where I teach. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say Harris Institute, okay, and the path. The path. Can you guess what the path is going to be? Okay, this isn't an internal Drupal path because we're actually linking to a site that is external, okay, that is outside this this site, this RoboBunny attack demo site that we're working on. Um, so what do we need to do? We need to add the full URL, the full address to the site we want to go to. In this case, I want to go to Harris, yeah, I got to spell it right, harrisinstitute.com. There it is right here. And just to be absolutely clear, you do that means you do need to include the HTTP. If you don't include that HTTP colon slash slash, if you don't include that, it's going to screw up, okay? Drupal is going to think that you are referring to an internal path and it's going to try to to send you to the wrong place. And and here's the thing, even this, this doesn't work, okay? Drupal's just gonna try adding that to the current site and they'll try sending you there. So you need to tell Drupal, hey, go elsewhere, go outside of the current Drupal site. And that's that HTTP, that's the indicator, okay? So there's the full path. And let's say, um, visit the school where I teach. There we go. Enabled. Shows expandable. Leave that for now. That's all good. Let's go ahead and click on save. And okay, it's added at the bottom. If I wanted to add it there, I could have done that. But you know what? I think I like it. Yeah, you know what? Let's put it right there. Save that configuration. Okay. And let's go ahead and reload this page now. And what are we expecting to see? We're expecting to see a new link there. And look, if I hover over that, Visit, you get the little tooltip, visit the school where I teach, and in the lower left-hand corner, there is a link, there, the address there says harrisinstitute.com. That's way down there, way, way down there, okay? I'm going to click on that. Look, brought me to the school website. Isn't that cool? And now you can add external links to your menu as well. All right, um, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.